The Bible says which are born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You notice the kind of birth? Not of blood. Praise the Lord. Not of the will of the flesh. Not of the will of man, but of God. That means you get a different birth. The Holy Ghost give you this birth. Praise the Lord. And this one is not of blood. This one is not of the will of your parents. Not of the will of man, but of God. Well, praise the Lord. The word, bless the word. I love this. I love this 14th verse. And this one, the 14th verse, and to let you know about Jesus Christ and how he was here before the birth. Oh, praise God. Before Mary gave birth to him, he was here. Oh, praise the Lord. Somebody saw him a long time before that. And they identify him. Glory to God Almighty. When Nebuchadnezzar looked at him in the furnace of fire, Nebuchadnezzar said, I see four. And the fourth one is like the Son of God. Glory to God Almighty. And now listen to what the 14th verse of St. John 1 said. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The word, the angel Gabriel said to Mary, there was highly favor amongst women. Glory to God of might. There was highly favor. And listen, he said, listen. You're going to conceive in your womb and you're going to bear a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus and he shall save his people from their sin. And Mary, a virgin, started to wonder, seeing that she was a just girl, a holy girl, but praise the Lord, a spotless girl, although, bless the Lord, she was engaged to a man by the name of Joseph. But the Bible said before they came together. But oh, praise the Lord. And Mary said to the angel, How could this thing be seen that I know not a man? I never have no, no, no fun with a man. How could this thing be? And Gabriel said to her, Listen, the power of the highest shall come upon you, and you shall conceive in thy womb. And you shall be in that son, obey God. He shall be great, obey the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. Mary asked the question, how could this be, seeing that I know not a man? He said, what you can see, but the God, holy, the son of the highest. Oh, praise the Lord. And that is why, when he came out, he was a son of God. Oh, praise the Lord. He was a son of God. Somebody said, how did, hold on, how did they say God never born? Who said God born? How did they say God didn't descend? I don't want to say Jesus is God. I want to tell you something. Jesus is God. Jesus is the son of God. And Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. It, it, it looks away when I say it. Praise the Lord. The fullness of the Godhead is all in him. He was human and he was divine. The disciple, they look at him as a human. And they say, listen, listen. What he said to them, he said, Listen, listen. I want you to observe what he said. Look into St. John 14 a little. I love to speak from the Bible. Look into St. John 14 and see what 
Jesus said to Philip. The Samurai said, if he had known me, he should have known my father also. And from henceforth, he know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet I do not know me, Philip. He that had seen me had seen the Father. And how says thou then, Show us the Father? Oh God Almighty. That, that one kind of hurt. That one kind of heart. That one kind of heart to believe. Huh? I could tell my son, or my son tell somebody, say, when you see me, you see me, dad. No, if they look like me, they only can say, I look like my father. Oh, praise the Lord. But Jesus never used the word like. Jesus used the word, when you see me, you'll see the father. And how is this, thou then show us the father? Oh, praise the Lord. My God and my, this was mom. But can I tell you something? Don't say that those men were hard, uh, hard believers. Uh, they would believe because, and if you were there, you would believe because they said, no, don't say that. If you were there, you wouldn't believe. You know why I say it? If you were there, you wouldn't believe. You ask a man, say, Brother Martin, show me your father. Where your father did? I you say, Brother Martin said to hey, oh man, you mean so far you how long you do old man you don't know my father? He said, No, I'm gonna know him. He said, sit here. And my father is one. No, I'm God of mine too. That's a brother Martin start man. Not true. So if Jesus was here and you are here, then you'd believe when Jesus said, Listen to me, I and my father are one. So don't no matter look at the disciples and say, oh, they were around with Jesus and they still didn't believe in Jesus. No, if it was your time, you still wouldn't believe. Oh, praise the Lord. You wouldn't believe. Listen to what Jesus said. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me, the word that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth work. So when the scripture go back in St. John 1, 14, and said, and the word was made flesh. The Father, which is the word, made flesh and called the flesh Son of God. And the flesh dwelleth among us, and we beheld his but praise God as of the only begotten of the Father. Glory to God Almighty. But praise the Lord. The Word. Now, you, you say, I, I, I went to church and I didn't like the Word that the pastor preached. Now, brother and sister, if the pastor didn't preach from the Bible, then you don't have to like it. But if the pastor preached from the Bible, preached the written word of oh, praise the Lord, then if you don't like it, it means that you don't like God. As long as the pastor didn't twist the scripture, as long as the pastor didn't change the word, and you say you don't like what the pastor preached and how the pastor preached, how did he preach and what did he preach? Did he preach the word? When the Bible said in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. So what you say? You didn't like God? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And you get caught up with the pastor because the pastor preached some word that you don't like. You know who you get caught up with? God. Yeah? You didn't love to hear about God. 
Because the way you want to see God, that's not the way you see him today. The way you didn't want to hear from God, that's not the way you hear. You didn't want a spirit to whisper something in your ears, and then you say, yes, this is God. And then when you go to the Bible, it is contrary to the Bible. Hey, is the devil speaking in your ears? You got to go back to the scripture. Oh, praise the Lord. You have the written word. The prophet get the spoken word and the writing down. And now we have the written word. Glory to God Almighty. And the preacher take back the written word and preach it into your ears. Glory to God. Look, the spoken word comes to the prophet. The prophet writes it down. We have the written word. And then the preacher speak back the word. Go right back into the spoken word. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God said, believe me that I am in the Father. And the Father in me. How do you look at that? I am in the Father. The Father present for the whole universe. The body that Jesus had was there in the presence of the Father. The Father in him was the spirit and the word that was in him. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God in fact. And so the fullness of the Godhead is in him. All in him. The word was in him. The spirit was in him. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God in fact. Listen to the Bible. The word of God. This is the word. Verily, verily, I say to you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Oh, Jesus. Jesus said, all right then, all right then, all right then. I'm going to show you something. If you believe on me, the works that I do, you're going to do it too. The believers start to use the word that Jesus said to them. When they look and see someone sick, glory to God, he said, they receive your sight. The person will see your sight. They look and see the lame man, Peter stretched forth his hand and lifted him up and said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The lame man gets up and walk. Why? Because he was a believer in Jesus and the works that Jesus had done, the same work he started to do. Why? Because he was a believer. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Go right back to the word. Verily, verily, I say to you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father. All right now. Somebody said, the Lord Jesus. My brain kind of mixed up. My brain kind of mixed up. Because I know him, he said. Now he does when you see me, you see the Father. And now he go back and say, because I go unto the Father. Hmm? He said, I go unto the Father. So, then my look said, well, I must find the next one at the Father. All right, what does it mean? All right now, he said, hold on. I'm gonna put down this robe of flesh. I'm gonna put it down. And I'm gonna go back to the farm. Why? My time and earth is finished. My works are finished and I'm going back. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm going right back. So then now, you know what happened? Mm -hmm. You will have no flesh and blood called Son of God anymore. I'm going right back in the Spirit. Going right back in the Spirit. And then you know what happened? The Bible go back and say, Now God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in truth. We now become sons of God. Glory to God Almighty. We now become sons of God. You don't believe that? The Bible said, Beloved, behold what man of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be for we know when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. Oh praise the Lord. We are sons of God. Now, 
Jesus is God Almighty. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is God Almighty. The word, if he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, brother, then she said, look, he gone. Gone now. Praise God. Somebody said, so what is the name of the Father? The same name that he said, you ask anything in my name. Praise the Lord. The Father named Jesus. Praise God. You know, somebody said, hey, the Father named Jehovah, the Son named Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Glory well, to God Almighty. They don't have no name for the Holy Ghost. They said, the Father named Jehovah, the Son named Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, the church name. So that means the Holy Ghost don't have no name. But I know that the Holy Ghost have name. He said, I will send you the comforter in my name. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost came in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. The Father named Jesus, the Son named Jesus, the Holy Ghost named Jesus. Somebody say, how could this be? Praise God. When Mary was there and the angel Gabriel appeared to her, the angel Gabriel gave Mary the name of God. She shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sin. Oh praise the Lord. His people. His name shall be called Jesus. Glory to God Almighty. His name shall be called Jesus for he shall save his people from their sin. And now he said whosoever believeth in his name. And he said, if you shall ask anything in my name, that will I do. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, it's a God of might. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If he love me, keep my commandment. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort. Somebody said, then why would he speak like this now? You know why? Because he was still present with them. He was still present with them in that body. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth. Listen about this spirit. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. You hear what the spirit of the world can receive? The spirit of truth. Anytime you begin to preach the truth, not everybody going to receive it. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Why? Because it's Satan, not neither know it. And you know God, you'll know that the word is God, his word is true. If you don't know God, then you won't believe the word. He said, but he know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Notice how Jesus said. He said, but he know him. For he dwelleth with you. Now, brother and sister, sometimes I hear testify. I, 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 if I did now, I don't know God because I don't have I don't have the Holy Ghost. Don't speak in ignorance. I want you to understand the Bible. The Bible says you know him, for he dwelleth with you, with you, with you. You that doesn't feel it, the Holy Ghost is with you. You that doesn't feel it, the Holy Ghost, you hear the word, which is God. With you, if he dwells with you, you must know him. I want to 
want to read it, that that's to get a full understanding and don't mislead. He said, but he know him. For he dwelleth with you. Brethren, with you and in you is different. When he's with you, without you feel with the Holy Ghost, Christ is with you. He was with his disciple. And he asked the disciple, have I been so long time with you and yet you don't know me? He wasn't in the disciples yet, no. He was with them. And he said, hey, listen, listen, have I been so long time with you and yet you don't know me? He that had seen me had seen the Father. Now he would say, but, but, he know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You notice the word shall? And shall be in you. That means when you receive the Holy Ghost, he's in you. So with you and in you, he's with you without you filling the Holy Ghost, and he's in you when you fill the Holy Ghost. Glory to God Almighty. And some people don't acknowledge that he's with them. They say, then, brothers and sisters, if he wasn't with you, don't the devil overpower you? But because he's with you, he protected you. Oh my God, your God and I. They only say, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Notice the word again. Notice how we state it this time. I will not leave you comfortless. That means he going away. Going away. He going to shed off the robe of flesh. He going up back into glory. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Ghost came back in the church. It was Jesus returning to his children to comfort them. Bless the Lord, my God Almighty. Now look at this now. It's yet a little while. And the world sent me no more, but he sent me because I live, he shall live also. My God Almighty. The world sent me no more. From that time, the world doesn't see Jesus anymore. Praise the Lord. No man sent him. In a, no, nobody. You, you notice? You notice the Bible said no man sent God at any time? Praise the Lord. No man sent God at any time. Does it? No sinful man sent the Lord at any time. The Bible says, save he which is of God. Jesus said, at that time, at that day, all right, yet a little while, and the world sent me no more. Why? He going to lay down that part of him, the natural part of him. And if you're not spiritual, you won't be able to see him because he becomes spirit. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. It's only through the spiritual eye will you be able to see Jesus. You won't see him through the natural eye. You'll be holy and say, yes, I see the Lord, see him. No, you only see him through the spirit. You see through vision or revelation. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He said, at that day, he shall know that I am in the Father, and he in me, and I in you. When you get the Holy Ghost inside you, then you're going to understand what he did say. Pray that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. And he said, and I in you. Praise the Lord. He that had my commandment and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will come, I will love him, and will Manifest myself to him. Manifest myself to him. The Lord is, I will love him 
and I will manifest myself to him. So when God loves you now, God is going to show himself to you. Who in no love in our show himself to us? Who in no love him in our show himself? Praise the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. Judas said unto him, not his character. When is the Bible said not his character? Do you understand what it means? You have two Judas. You have Judas is carried, which is the chip, and you have the other chip, Judas, which is not the scarlet. So it's a Judas son of Judas, not his scarlet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Lord, how, Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? He was still natural. He was still natural, so I asked Jesus, Master, Lord, tell me how. How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? You're going to manifest yourself to us and not to the world. So you have to come to us and the world now. We'll see how we ever see you. Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus. And you know, so the disciple questioned Jesus a lot. They questioned Jesus a lot because they want to understand. And Jesus opened their understanding, telling them the truth. The preacher's duty is to preach the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him. And make our abode with him. Bless the Lord. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my say. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. You see what he said? The word that you hear, he said, not of the flesh, but the Father has sent me. So the word is God. Praise God, the word. And only flesh. The Bible and the word was was made flesh. Praise the Lord. The word was made flesh. But in the beginning, it was the word. And when somebody said, Who was there with God? Wisdom. When you have to use the word, you have to use wisdom. You know, just a top, a top, a top. You use wisdom. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. Listen. Oh, hallelujah to God. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. You see why the Bible says the Holy Ghost going to teach you and bring all things to your remembrance. An Adventist man said to me one day, it's a brother Steve, you know who I am looking to? It's a man, we study all kind of books. We read all kind of books. Bless the Lord, we read all kind of books. And we pray, can't contain the Bible. Can't contain the word of I me. Mean, only see a rip out the scripture without looking in my Bible. How, how you do it? He said, I know me. No oh, praise the Lord. It's not me. No man of belief say how you contain something. So you just open your container and take out what you contain in it. No, it's not so. The Holy Ghost, bring it back to your remembrance. Oh praise the Lord. He said, open your mouth and all filled with words. So when you open your mouth, the Holy Ghost bring up the word that he contain inside you. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. This is not about reading a lot of books. This is about the word of God and God. When you read about God and you, you, you ask the Lord, praise the Lord, the Lord says, listen, don't premeditate nothing. You don't want to think what to say when you go before the pulpit. You have some preacher. You tell them, sir, they're going to preach. And you know what they do? They sit down there. They take their Bible. They take their pen. 
and then start to rehearse. While service going on, they're going to rehearse. Sit down there and they're going to look through and they're going to mark where they're going to preach. And mark where the Bible says you mustn't premeditate. No. Don't premeditate. You are planning what to preach. But the Bible is open about and I will fill it with words. Somebody said, then pastor, how 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 you going to open the mouth and then just fill with words? So you know, have to read the Bible, yes. But now when you're you here saying you're going to preach us, you know, about your study the Bible. No. The Bible says, study to show yourself and prove unto God. A word man needed not to be ashamed, rightly divide the word. Word of truth, rightly divide it. So you read the Bible, you you can't go to business. Bless the Lord. And then God said, all right, preach. Open your mouth. Don't premeditate nothing. When you go before the congregation, just open your mouth. How to the right words there. Oh, praise God. You know how much time preacher plant the message at your home? And when they come to church, God Almighty, somebody have a testimony. And when the person give a testimony, the Lord say, that is the message. And the preacher has to go back to free message. God preach free message. We got that in plan to preach. Say, no, Lord, I have my message already. Oh, praise the Lord. I have my message already. So, what happened? Free message gone one way. And God message gone one way. The people didn't hear God's message. The people hear his message. Oh, praise the Lord. No. So, the people going his way. Not going God's way. By said, many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Oh, hallelujah to God. Oh, my God Almighty. Hmm? The word, this one is it. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you. What God said he? What did he say he with his church? Peace. Peace. Now, I want to ask you a question. You can find that in church today. You don't notice a peace leave. I ask you a question. Listen, listen, listen about the word. Listen, listen, listen what Jesus said. Oh, praise the Lord. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. What you see now? War, strife, confusion, heresy, so, 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 so. Praise God. That's what the city taking over now. War, strife, confusion, heresy, su 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 su. Heresy, su 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 su, bring confusion. The word of God bring peace. He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. I'm not talking about the world now. I'm talking about the church. The people of God should have the peace of God. But no. What happened? What happened? The devil step in. And when the devil step in, praise God. The devil said, you know, she said, this is standing in a party. You know, she said, in front of my face, are you? Yeah. You know something in that one? Oh, you're talking up? Tandy. Bless the Lord. My sister, you know, good. Oh, praise the Lord. And then the devil start to sow discord among one another now. And war start to develop in the bridges more than peace. Peace leaving out. Oh, praise the Lord. Because, you know what happened? They quickly follow what the devil said than what God said. The words of my peace I give unto you. My peace I leave with you. But what happened to it? It disappeared. And somebody said, I lost it. Well, 
you should last. You know when you should last? I lost them man. Calvary's hill. They rumble and tumble and till. They all look where they've gone. They, they gone out of sight. What? Not peace though. Calvary, bring peace. Praise the Lord. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah to Jesus. He have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, he would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. He was talking through the 33 years of flesh on the earth. He was speaking, the son was speaking, and he said, I go unto my father because my father is greater than I. I'm gonna put on the glorified body. Oh, praise the Lord. I wanna show you something. Give me St. John 17. These words made Jesus and lifted up his eyes unto heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thy name. No, I have glorified thee on the earth, and I have finished the works which thou had given me to do. Notice, notice what he said. The son was speaking to the father and he said to the father, I have finished the work that you gave me to do. Brothers and sisters, we have a work that God gave us to do that we have to finish. When we finish, we can tell the Lord, say, Lord, Oh, praise the Lord. I have finished the work that you give me to do. Do you know that there was a man? Praise God by the name of Simeon. And he was waiting for the consolation. Oh, praise God and Simeon. When Mary and Joseph, praise God, take Jesus up to him to bless. Glory to God. Simeon looked to God and said, Lord. Glory to God, but the eyes have seen thy salvation. A light to light in the Gentile and thy people Israel. Oh, praise the Lord. And when he, he done talk to God, he said, Now let us thy servant depart in peace. His work did finish. The word of God says, You should not see that. And until you have seen the Lord, the Christ. And when he saw him, he prays, and now let us thy servant depart in peace. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. Glory to God. We have a work to do. And when our work is complete, then we have to leave. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus, he lived in this earth, in the flesh, 33 and a half years. And when his work was complete, he said these words. Listen to the word that he said. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. And thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Oh, praise the Lord. Before the world was. My God Almighty. Hmm? 
I have manifested thy name. Look into this, brothers and sisters. Because some people, you ask them, what is the name of God, the Father? They don't know. Listen what he said. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gave me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Oh, praise the Lord. I have manifested thy name. And that's why, oh, praise God, Jesus told his disciples, don't depart from Jerusalem till you be to and Paul from on high. And on that day, Peter stood up and said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you, unto your children, and to those of our power, even as many as the Lord our God shall come. The name of God is Jesus. This is the saving name. And that is why when the Son of God came here, our Savior, he came in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God. The Bible said God and all exalted him and give him a name which is above every name. That of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and things in heaven, things in earth, and things beneath the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the Lord. Every knee should bow. And things in heaven, things in earth, and things beneath the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, praise the Lord. If you believe, glory to God, blessed are you. If you don't believe, curse is you. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank God, the Bible I, I, I want to tell you, listen, when I say curse is you, if you don't believe, make I tell you what the scripture said in Matthew 15, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. That means you're cursed, you're doomed in hell forever, forever and ever and ever. Oh, praise the Lord. He that believeth not shall be damned. That way in the lake of fire. Brothers and sisters, let us hold forth. Hold the word of God. Keep the word of God. Sit down in God. Oh, praise God. The Bible said, Storm rock the ship that the disciples they were in. Oh, praise the Lord. And Jesus was there, but he was sleeping. When trouble come your way, your feet said, Jesus, not there. Not true. Huh? Not true. When trouble come your way, and boat a rock. Glory to God, like you have to capsize over, you have to jump over. Your feet said, Jesus, God, Jesus is still there. Oh, praise the Lord. I said, Jesus is still there. Your faith get weak. Your faith shatter. Oh, praise God, but Jesus is still there. Glory to God Almighty. Somebody remember that you were sleeping. And the person that remember that was sleeping, that went to the waking out of his sleep, and said, Lord, keep us down now, let's be perish. Oh, praise the Lord. And Jesus get up and said, oh, you have to be it. And he said, hey, hey. See, when? Be still, peace, be still. And the wind, and the wind, Obey his voice. The wind and the wheel obey his voice. And get calm. And the disciple look back at him and said, What manner of man is this? That even the sea and the wind obey him. My God Almighty. But before it was a song. He was there sleeping. And the sea started to kick up. The wind started to blow. Water started to lick on ship. Ship started to pick in water. But he was still there. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you're not talking to him. Because your feet say, my sleep. Your feet say, now I hear you. Just go wake him, shake him. 
Oh, praise the Lord. Shake him and see what happened. If the sea now become, if the wind now to obey. And that's what the disciples do. They went and shake him and said, Master, carry us down out. Lest we perish. Master, glory to God. The tempest are raging. The billows are tossing high. Glory to God. Glory to God Almighty. I said, Master, the tempest are raging. The billows are tossed in high. And you know what Jesus did? He just said, hey, where is your little faith? Where is your little faith? They said, oh, peace be still. Listen. 